can you create? <laughs> Moho Animation Software. The future is 2D. Quickly build your characters with the most intuitive and powerful 2D rigging system. With the unique smartphones, bend your characters exactly in the way you want, animate head turns, and create levers for anything in your scene. Control every detail with the automatic mesh creation for images and vectors. Use the new curvers to smoothly bend any layer. Generate follow through and overlapping animation with the dynamics for rotation, scale and translation. The revolutionary liquid shapes let you combine and animate shapes in unique ways. Animating fire, smoke or water is easier than ever. And you can also use liquid shapes to build simpler and more powerful characters. Moho 14 runs much faster and looks better thanks to its new graphics engine. Preview effects, masks, blending modes and much more all in real time. The freehand, blob brush and eraser tools have been improved and optimised for traditional animation and sketching. Filling shapes is easier than ever with the new multi-stroke drawing and connect and fill option. Love boiling lines? Select a brush or create your own and make it boil exactly how you want with the unique smart boil feature. The improved timeline allows you to navigate between keys and labelled keys. Change the on-skin colours, push frames to retime your animation, modify the interpolation and much more. Adjust the animation using the graph mode and even interpolate on one, twos or any interval that fits your production needs. The new SVG import allows you to take vector illustrations from other software like Illustrator or CorelDRAW, keeping all their colours, gradients, masks and layers. Apply the new styles or create your own for a more natural result, keeping everything connected and even modify entire scenes all at once. But it's not all about vectors. Moho also has real-time connection with Photoshop files created in any software. Add, remove or modify layers. Save the file and Moho will immediately update the artwork for you. Do you need to adjust details? In Moho, everything can be animated and interpolated. There's no need to constantly be redrawing. Just animate the position, curvature, line width and colour of any shape at any moment. And there's much more. Vitruvian bones, powerful particle system, full 3D space and camera, lip syncing tools, reference layers and much more. A very active community willing to help. Create your own tools or download the amazing scripts the Moho community has created. Moho is developed with the animators in mind. Our licenses are perpetual, not subscription. Moho 14. The future is 2D. Unreal Engine 5.3 brings wide-ranging improvements to existing Core UE5 features, as well as introducing some exciting new experimental feature sets that extend the potential for more creative workflows directly in the Unreal Editor. With sparse volume textures, you can store and playback fake simulation data for volumetric effects such as smoke and fire. SVTs can be simulated in Niagara or imported from OpenVDB files created in other 3D applications. And for cinematics, films, and other linear media, you can now use the Path Tracer for high-quality volumetric rendering, including global illumination, shadows, and scattering. 
Orthographic rendering is also now supported as an experimental feature, offering stylistic camera choices for games and visualization. It's available in the Unreal Editor and at runtime, with support for most UE5 features. Next up, an experimental new skeletal editor provides you with a variety of tools for working with your skeletal meshes, including the ability to paint skin weights. Another experimental feature set introduces a new panel cloth editor that delivers better looking simulations and adds support for a non-destructive cloth simulation workflow where you can trade off speed for precision. Cloth can also now be simulated and cached in engine using the ML Deformer. On the virtual production front, in preparation for the next generation of LED production stages, we've added experimental support to in display for SIMT ST2110. This lays the groundwork for a range of hardware configurations that open up new possibilities for LED stages, including having a dedicated machine for each camera frustum, maximizing the potential rendering resolution, increasing frame rate, and allowing for more complex scene geometry and lighting than previously possible. We've also added a new Cinecam rig rail actor that enables filmmakers to emulate traditional camera movement along tracks or on dollies. It provides the ability to choreograph camera settings at different control points along the path and supports both in editor and vCam workflows. Talking of vCam, you can now browse takes directly on the iPad for review or re-recording, simultaneously stream different output for different team members, and record at a slower frame rate for easier capture of fast-moving action. And last but not least, you can now leverage additional CPU and memory resources when cooking content. These are just some of the highlights of what's new in Unreal Engine 5.3. You can find out more on our What's New page, where you'll also find a link to download the release if you're a new user. Otherwise, it's available right from your Epic Games launcher. Enjoy! Thank you.